Sorry for the small mammal. Watching Moo play Wrecking Ball. She's got the gold border star. She's got the mustache. All right, going for the the old right flank here. All right, that was um, that was a really bad grapple. So to a lot of things could have happened there. There could have been a trap there, and you would have instantly died anyway. I'm surprised you're alive. Um. But if I was going to do what you were doing, I would simply roll through them, because the grapple gave you no height anyway, you, you dodged the- that's good! That's good! You're making a lot of space. Good slam. I would have used my adaptive shields there. Alright, adaptive shields now, good. Okay, you don't- Um. Once you use your adaptive shields, you could have started shooting the targets you hit. Because you just use your shields, like you're you're gonna survive. Good, good. Huge tracking. That was like aimbot. Okay, you don't need to shoot the the target when they're getting rezzed. Out of ammo. Turn down the volume a little bit. Big slam! Huge! Alright, your team's losing. Get out. You have your minds. You can get a real easy win here on the fight if you use your minds correctly. You're letting your healers heal you for ult charge. Very good. I don't like you going this way, but it's in gold. That didn't stop you. Alright. Alright, not bad, not bad. Hey! Nice. Nice minefield. I would have minefielded a little bit earlier, but that works as well. They were pretty pushed up, so it paid off. Wait. Did your team lose that? Genji Nanoblade! Um, adaptive shield. You didn't use your adaptive shields before you died. I, I didn't see them be used. You probably could have lived there. Mine is literally one. I would have used my adaptive shields so I could kill the Reinhardt. Wait. Oh, you won that. Oh my god, you capped the points! Go! No! Go! <laughs> yes! Yes, there was no you're shooting your Genji's dead corpse! It's fine, you capped. You're playing a little bit, um... Not scared, per se, but... Oh, that's a big slam. Okay. Right there. Let's see. You get the huge slam, and you have a thousand health right now. And even though you're anti, I would have started shooting them a little bit sooner. Because you have so much health, You had the big slam, they're probably all low, um... I don't think mines were needed there. It's a bit confusing because you're the red team. I hate it when the, um... The VOD replayer does this. I would like the, the team I'm viewing to be the blue team. Okay, definitely did not need a minefield there. Like, the only person you would have maybe gotten was Ryan, but he had a full shield, so it's definitely not killing Ryan. Yeah, back up. Shoot him. Alright, cool boop. I would have pile drived off the ledge there. Alright, nice. Nice tracking, nice tracking! Alright, your Lucio had to use beat 
to secure that. But... Yeah. Whenever you're pushing up into their spawn, you always want to make sure you can get out. Like, pushing up into their spawn, it may seem like a dumb move, but sometimes it pays off to, like, keep them back while you're capping the point. But you definitely don't want to be body blocked like you were just now. Because in a higher rank, you would be dead. For sure. You're going in here. You could have been slept here. So you could have been slept, and then you could have died, and they're still contesting. So honestly, you should be dead like seven seconds ago right now. The high ground and pile drive. I would have gotten that high ground, but yeah. It's a very cluttered area here, so yeah, you, you let that soldier get away. And you're dead. So yeah, what I would have done here, I would have gone a different route. I would have taken the high ground. I would have taken the high ground here. And then that would be a perfect lineup for a slam. Like, at least two people. Right here. But right now, you're over here. You fail to secure the kill on soldier. And now you're just a uh, punching bag. So, like, always get high ground when it's available to you. Like, high ground is just so important, you know, if it's not useful, then fine. You can easily just drop. You can, um, you know, high ground is pretty much always useful. So fall back, <laughs> good, good call out. Do we make an account called Moo? No, we're reviewing Milk Tank Moo's gold game, 2400. All right. Nice. Nice. Unfortunately, did not get enough kills. And you want to know why? It might have been nice. But it could have been even nicer. So you want to get the minefield here, right? However... They can see you coming from a mile away, right now. Like, you're- you are flying in. Like, you are in their line of sight for like, three to four seconds. And usually, when a ball is just flying in, over your head, you're gonna expect the minefield. So I feel like, most of their team knew you were gonna minefield here. And that's why you didn't get like, a 3k. I would have engaged- I would have engaged um, on the other wall, like the wall on the right side here. Like they might have seen you, but it, it, it's less expected because you do it really quickly. Like you're you're on the right side of the wall. Do you know how to do free cam? Yeah. You're on this wall here. I would shoot them, make them make them you know not suspicious that I'm gonna minefield them. I would back up to here or here. And then wait for my health to come back. And then I would roll in really quickly because it's just quicker. Like going from here is gonna take longer than going from here, you know? And it's all about timing and letting the enemy team not see you. Sassy? So, yeah, see, the Ana's already backing up here. Going from the same flank here. Alright, I'd shoot the monkey. He was sleeping. Unfortunate. That pile drive is not super great. I would have tried to get it a little more in the back line, but I don't think you could have with that grapple. You just really have to mind your positioning here. And there's a soldier. I would have contested that soldier. Because now he gets the visor off. You're, you're giving up the high ground for free, pretty much. Like, even if you 
lost the 1v1 with the soldier. You can easily get out an LOS of your healers right here. Like, you could drop to here if you don't win the 1v1. So he's shooting you. What I would have done, I would have waited him for him to come over here and pile drive him here. Or if he's here, I would have pile drived him on the ledge here. Because you can pile drive off of ledges. That's a very, very, very important Hammond tip. Like, it's something I use all the time. Really convenient. So I would have pile drove him, pile driven him here. Started shooting him. At least get him low, so that my team can potentially finish him off. If you can't finish him off, then at least get him low. But yeah, pal driving off of a ledge is like... Probably the most important tech you can do, and it's one of the easiest. So... Uh, third. Shooting the horse. I'd be using your grapple more. Yeah, there you go. Remember, your grapple is only like a five second cooldown. I would have pile drove in there. If you ever get booped in the air as Hammond, like by the enemy, that's a free that's a free pile drive for you. All right, nice boop. All right, nice. This spot isn't bad. I feel like you would have been noticed in a higher rank. Uh... Okay. Okay, you get away with a lot of things here. You get away with a lot of things. This grapple is horrendous. This is dog shit. You wanna know why? You wanna know why? Because it's so low to the ground. It's so low to the ground. There is no length on this grapple. Because if you use a grapple to the wall... Like, right here. Fucking replay. You see how it gets shorter? So you use it, like, right here, right? And then you move here. You're gonna get stopped by your own grapple. And a way to prevent this is by always grappling up. Vertically. So yeah. You, you should have died, but you get- You get volume because you didn't die because it's gold. You- You charge in without knowing that they swapped a Roadhog. But luckily, most of them were dead. You're taxing your mercy? Very good. You're the fastest character. So... Yeah. See, see what I mean? That's technically a vertical grapple, but it- it- come on, guys. It-, it it's not. It's not. You're- you're getting no height off of doing this. This is like going on a baby's roller coaster. And this is how high it goes. You, you know, the, the Spongebob meme? The the little roller coaster. That's how high you're going. You're, you're not gonna pile drive shit there, okay? <laughs> that's that's not the move. So I would just be chilling up on the bridge right now, uh, just waiting to pile drive them when they come through choke. You get a pick, but you're taking a lot of damage. You get the mega. Alright, not bad. Man, you're just like going- you're going for it. Okay. Again, you could have died at two points here when you're just charging it down mid and when you're trying to go back but your grapple gets you no speed because it's uh... It's like barely off the ground, so it's not like a low grapple where you're gonna get a quick speed boost. 
It's trying to send you in the air when there's like no leeway to send you in the air. Also, they have a junk rat. You could have gotten trapped. Not the mercy standing AFK. Huge minefield! Big! Play the game! Shoot the auto! Alright, big, wait for your grapple. No! Go the other way. Why didn't you go for the Ana here? Both supports. You have your grapple up, and you choose to dive the junk rat in the Sigma instead of the two squishies on the left side. I guess because your team's here, but since you went this way, you're leaving the supports alone, so their supports can just heal. It's a fast-paced game, I wasn't thinking- no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm being constructive for the greater good. Okay, so you don't go to the supports, so nothing dies. You lose your Bastion. And they're coming in hot, right? So... What you're doing right now is wasting time. Like, I know you're trying to boop them back. But Ball doesn't have that strong boop anymore. And plus, since you charge right into them, you're now half HP. You're forced to go get this Mega. And your team is left alone to die in a small hole in the middle of the forest. So, now you're just 1v6ing. Yes, exactly. Grapple mechanics and target focus. It's hard to track a floating Sigma. I'd be looking for angles right here. You're kind of just chilling on the low ground. All right, nice, nice dive on Soldier. Pile drive, pile drive. Okay. All right, you would have killed him if you used your adaptive shields for one, and if you pile drived off the ledge there. He's already half. Pile drive. Melee. You didn't do it, so you die. That's just a little tech thing, you know, pile driving off the ledge. All right, this is where you stall. Big! Um, you didn't have to go that early, I will say, though. It's a nice little rollout you did there, but uh, you didn't have to go that early. Usually, when you're recondesting, you want to wait until last second. So, you give your team the maximum amount of time to prepare for the recondest. Okay, a little, a little bit of feeding there. No need to do that, but... No harm, no foul. They didn't get the point. Okay, now they're getting picks, so there is a little bit of foul. I'd be looking for a slam here off the ledge. You waste your grapple. Yeah, basically, you just didn't do much there. So, they're, they're killing your team. I'd be trying to get behind them instead of just rolling straight down the bridge. If possible. Try to kill that Ana. Alright, that soldier was one. You could've killed him. Nice kill and junk. Kill soldier. Nice. Big slam on Ana. Killer, use your guns. Okay. That's another thing I've noticed, Miltank, is that when you get a good slam, like, you get the target, like, half HP, you don't shoot them a little bit. 
Like, you don't have to fully commit and then, like, die to, like, bullets, but just, like, you know, you do a little slam, do a little melee, a little bit of shooting, and then get out. You don't have to retreat immediately. There, there is some leeway. I guess you could have gone on soldier there. But either way, the, the supports are here. So you slam on it. You get a really low. And you're scared of being shot through the window, right? You're scared of dying right now. Because there's a window right in behind you. However, it's still worth to kill the Ana. It's still worth it. Your spawn is so much closer, and you're so much faster. Honestly, if you get bursted, that's totally fine. Like, you're actually more likely to get out. Like, it's, they're not even shooting you here. Okay, you do get shot by Sigma, but... You probably would have been able to kill the Ana and get out with, um, a little bit of health. So then she gets healed by Bap. Again, I'm surprised you're not getting trapped more. Like, you're kind of just blindly, like, swooping in. Maybe you're not blindly doing it, but... It's a- it's a pet peeve of mine. When there's a junk rat and I go in like you are and I always get trapped. I swear I always get trapped, like, doing shit like that. Oh, they have a brig now! Woo! They have brig! So, you get stunned, then you're dead. So, Brig versus Ball. You wanna shoot the Brig's shield. So she can't stun you. You gotta break her shield. And that's... That's how you deal with her. So you're, they have Nanoblade or Displane. Kill your Genji. I try shooting Moira here. Always focus the heals in this situation. I slam. You're tracking- it's like good at some points and then bad at other points. Maybe due to nerves, but like, I, I swear your tracking wasn't that bad, like, earlier on. That- that Moira. Really. Okay. Alright, so that's a dub. Team 2 wins. Alright. So yeah, Miltank. Not bad! I'm- you know, for a gold player, I'm, I'm not even that mad. I'm not even that mad. You did get away with a lot of things, uh, during your... Point A defense. You did get away with a lot. You, you were very aggressive. You... Sort of went in without, like... Waiting to see, like... What cooldowns were up. Like, if they're looking at you or not. You were just lucky that most of the time they were not looking at you. They were like... Turning a blind blind eye to ball, which I feel like happens a lot in lower ranks. Like you, you should realistically, you should at least be half HP here, but you only lost 40 HP. But what I would recommend you working on is grapples. That was your main issue, using your grapple correctly, and you know. Engagement timing, but you didn't get punished a lot here for your engagement timing, so it's kind of hard to, um, like, show you what went wrong. But just trust me, you probably would have died <laughs> in a higher rank. And focusing targets, of course. You had a lot of opportunities to pressure the supports or kill them, but uh, you kind of missed a few. You missed the kill on the Ana on the bridge, and you didn't dive the supports when they are capping this point here, point A. And you did not take the 1v1 with Soldier. I, 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 a 1v1 with a Soldier is like always in favor of you. Because you have 600 HP, you have shields, and you can easily get out if you take too much damage.